many people that were like, Paramore's not emo, are they? And it's like, well, yeah, they are. We kind of got known for a certain sound. They developed under the Fueled by Ramen sounds, Misery Business had that particular pop-punk emo production sound to it. And it was very much of a time. That time is now past. They were huge at one point a few years ago, and then they had this bitter, embittered lineup change uh, where two of the founding members left, and you know, were very, very vocal about why they left. It's been three years since we've released an album, and that's the longest period of time between any project that we've ever done. There's gonna be a lot of challenges ahead for Paramore because their fan base is so different now. Their fan base is not different because there's new kids that like them. Their fan base is different because their fan base grew up. Some people will hate if we try something that we didn't do on our last three albums, and some people will hate if we do the same thing that we did on our last three albums. What was really important to us was just being really true to where we are right now as a band and as people. We've grown up so much. We like So much stuff has happened over the last two years. It was really just about showing people that. Don't try to take this from me. Don't try to take this from me. The most important thing for me writing lyrics this time around was that we've spent other albums just moping around and our problems and the inner band turmoil of Paramore. You know, it was it was always very dramatic, like a soap opera. I just didn't want that to be for you know our self-titled album. I, I think it was more important to move forward and keep walking and keep pressing towards the future. It's evolved from what they were doing. It's not to soundtrack a Twilight moment. Now was a really bold out of the gate single because it seems to address all the issues in the band, all the things people are going to want to talk to them about with the other members leaving. It's all in there. It's like her heart is out on the floor of the song. I think now is a really good starting point for where we're going as a band and the message behind it, everything. I, I don't know, it just feels like there's something really empowering about it and I felt that when we wrote it. Still Into You is a really crazy choice for a follow-up for now because it is so girly. It's the polar opposite. I think that Paramore could have pop crossover success with Still Into You. We didn't say no to trying anything. It may have not worked out in the end, but we tried everything that we possibly could. She's a huge music fan, which sounds like an obvious thing to say, but she grew up in the South, so she's like obsessed with like TLC and Usher, but she's also obsessed with everything that came out on DeSoto. We wrote this album blindly, just letting it lead us wherever it was going to take us. And each song felt very different, you know, and, and felt very new and exciting for us. So by the end of it, it felt like we're a new band, you know. So I definitely think we're reintroducing ourselves to the world, to our fans. And at the same time, it, it's so definitely us, you know, it's, it's so Paramore. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> and we're sorry for that, uh, but, but uh, we're ready. Now. That's it. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> yeah.